Hi friends, welcome to Anasu. Today is the 31st episode in the history series. So today we are going to discuss about Islam. So in the second episode of Islam, we discuss some things about the acts of worship at the large. So today we are going to say what the acts of worship are. So today it is about acts of worship. If I I didn't say which part it is, so it is Islam part four. <laughs> yes. So first. acts of worship so there are five obligatory acts of worship to worship god or allah so the shahada declaration of faith is the first obligatory act of worship next the five daily prayers next the zakat alms giving the fasting during ramadan and the hajj pilgrimage so these are collectively known as the pillars of islam yes so these are these five are known as the pillars of islam five pillars <laughs> yes So next, the first one is testimony. So the shahada, I mean, the shahada is an oath declaring belief in Islam. So this oath is, I testify that there is no deity except God, and I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Yes. So this is the testimony, or the shahada declaration of faith. So next is or the prayers. So a prayer, also known as salah. is seen as a personal communication with god and consists of repeating units called rakat that include bowing and prostrating to god yes so we must i mean muslims must perform five prayers every day that is compulsory yes and prayers are recited in the arabic language and these prayers are verses from the quran yes the most holy book in islam the quran and so the mosque is a place for of worship for muslims so muslims worship by praying there in the mosque so muslims need to pray only while facing to mecca which is one of the holy cities in islam so before mecca was even fully built people did these prayers at jerusalem which was another important city at that time but after mecca was built now we we islam i mean muslims will pray at mecca side yes so from my perspective it is somewhere in the west yes so okay next is charity so charity or zakat is a means of welfare in a muslim society yes so muslims must give some amount of their wealth to charity so it is characterized characterized by the giving of a fixed portion which is 2.5% of their annual wealth of accumulated wealth so 2.5% of wealth should be given to poor people to charity annually so every year that means 1/4 of their wealth yes so next the fourth one is fasting okay so during the month of ramadan it is obligatory for muslims to fast but they need to eat sometimes so in they only fast for the daytime hours that means times when there is day for example if it is 9 pm and you just want to eat you can eat at that time because it is all dark at that time while for example it is 1 pm you need still need to fast sorry <laughs> yes So that is fasting. Next, the five fifth one. So the pilgrimage or the Hajj pilgrimage. So the obligatory Islamic pilgrimage called the Hajj is to be done at least once a lifetime by every Muslim, with the means to do so during the Islamic month of Du Al Hijjah. So every Muslim in their lifetime must go to Mecca at least once in their lifetime. In exactly the month of du al hijjah which is an islamic month in the islamic calendar so next this so these are the five obligatory tasks so we can do two other ones which are in here so the sixth one is the quranic recitation and memorization so there's another mean of worshiping god that is to pray while reciting some part of the quran or the whole quran reciting a whole book from memory wow they did great things so yeah they 
or very great <laughs> yes so next the seventh one is supplication and remembrance so this is like we must so people must remember god so that is what to simply say that so they must say something great about god like this yes so this is for today about islam and finally islam is complete bye